Hello guys, uh, today we're gonna be looking at a simple short video that will show you some of the main features on using a pivot square. This is an Empire pivot square, it's aluminum. The good thing about having an aluminum pivot square is that it's a lot lighter than the steel squares. So it's a lot lighter when you're carrying it all day, you know, in your tool belt, it makes a big difference. So the most basic function of a pivot square is to scribe a square line which is simply 90 degrees so this tool is very handy and it's used a lot by carpenters and I've also seen a couple of welders use it to make uh, straight lines when they're cutting their uh, material their stock material tubing or any other material it gives them a quick reference in addition the other thing that you can do with this uh, square is that if you rotate it from the pivot point you can get any angle that you want. So for example, if you want a 25 degree angle, all you gotta do is align the 25 degree mark on the edge of the material that you're cutting and simply scribe a line. So when you scribe that line, you end up with an actual 25 degree line. So this section right here will give you your degrees, 25 from your square line. Another uh, feature of this square is that it has seven inches on the top. So it starts in the corner one inch and it's in increments of a quarter inch. So for example, it goes all the way to seven inches and also it gives you an edge. So if you're, if you're trying to do a, a straight line or scribe a straight line of uh, three and a half inches, which is pretty common in construction because it's the width of a of a two by four, you simply stick your pencil in there, move it along your edge, and it gives you a three and a half inch uh, line. The other feature of the square is that, you know, you got your uh, degrees down here. So you start at zero on this end, zero degrees, and it goes all the way up to uh, 90 degrees to the end of it. So it's pretty good when you're laying out um, angles, you know, for special cuts or especially in uh, when you're doing roofing and uh, you're cutting out rafters and different roofing components. So one of the main um, uses here when you're cutting out common rafters is that you're gonna have the degrees of the rafters here, but these degrees are associated with the, the percentage of, uh, of your, your roof incline. In other words, this is like a ratio of your pitch and then the pitch can be found in the back of the, the square. It also has some good information. So for example, here it has the ratio for, for your uh, number. So for example, for every one inch uh, per foot, you're increasing 1.75 uh, degrees. So it has a, a table that goes from one inch to 20 inch. The most common, uh, a pitch on a roof in in our area you know it's gonna be anywhere from three and four because we live in an area where we don't usually have uh, snow but when when you get into areas that that have uh, more severe weather and have snow you're gonna be looking at higher uh, pitch ratios like six seven eight and twelve and that sort of thing so it's a nice little quick reference for that in addition um, you're gonna see another set of uh, degree lines up here so these degree lines will correspond to hip and valley roofs. So roofs that have a hip and a valley, the, the ratio is the same, but the, the angles are a little bit different because you know the, the lines get longer as you're uh, marking your rafters and cutting your material. So you got common rafters here, and then for hip and valley, you use these because your lines are gonna be a little bit longer. Uh, the slot right here in this uh, particular uh, square it's just simply a groove so that uh, when you're done using your tool, if you want to hang it, you know, it kind of provides a balance point, you know, where you can hang it with a nail. So that's just uh, to store it away. And then here on this top slot, it also has uh, marks for every, from one inch to four inches. So if you need to scribe a line once again, or, you know, lay out some, uh, two by fours when you're framing a wall you could you could do that as a reference uh, typically a two by four will measure an inch and a half on edge so you can do inch and a half from this line lay it out here and then you have your 
regular stud. And then if you need one more, if you're framing a door or a window, you go inch and a half and you can do your cripples, trimmers, jack studs, you know, every inch and a half. So it's a, a quick little reference. Uh, instead of uh, pulling out your measuring tape and, you know, trying to measure every stud, you know, the pivot square will save a lot of time when you're framing also a wall. So we talked about the, some of the uses. So remember that you can use it a lot for uh, rafter laying, cutting rafters, laying out rafters. So people that are framing a roof can use this tool a lot. It's really handy. And also when you're framing a wall, it can help you lay out your studs. Okay, so uh, it has other, other features, other tips. There's tons of uses and tips that people have come up with. So uh, we'll be talking about those um, in other videos, but in the mean part, meantime, I showed you guys some of the basic uh, uses of the square that you can use for, for you know, starting to do some uh, woodwork, carpentry. So there you have it. I, I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks a lot.